getting ready to go to the money? Yes, sir. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? The goal of today's video is taking these these tuna fishing like like so you saw my overkill challenge I don't even know what that is we're taking this to the river and gonna try to catch a river monster first we gotta go get bait we're gonna have to go figure that out and then we're gonna go to the river so why don't you go catfishing anymore I don't know because I only have like six hundred dollar equipment and then he pulls out these he's like I was like you want to go catfishing lyric he's like he's like yeah I got you with the hookups on the rods, I was like, all right, I don't need to bring mine. And I really care about you. This? I'm literally hooking you up. This is $300? No. Oh. Here you go. Ooh. I like these catfish rods. Are you serious? Sweet guy. So what are you doing right now? Well, right now I'm trying to find anything to go back to my dark days when I used to catch the bottom feeders. <laughs> I don't know really where they're at, because I haven't fished for them. Oh! I haven't fished for them, like, in 18 years. Oh, that's, that's actually a good bait. So is that. Oh my god, there's like amazing deep divers in here. Three really nice rods. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a cat fisherman. I've catfished like probably three times in my entire life. But the, these are really nice rods from the looks of them. But we have all this nice setup, and we don't, we don't have any hooks, and, and... We're going to break off at some point today, so we're in the search of hooks. Yes. Yes. He just found one, I guess. Yes. So that's what we're doing right now. We might have to run into Walmart or something, but we'll figure it out. This whole, this whole basement, we scrounged together. What do we got? We got three extra hooks, three extra crusty hooks, I might add, but they'll work. All this is catfish, right? And then we got three weights, and all of these rods, I guess, are all these rods rigged? Yeah, those so, three are. Yeah. All these are rigged, so we're bringing three. Hey man, these things are sweet. Look how much leverage you can get from like, like, look, 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 look. Just look at the, the distance from the reel. That's like three, two and a half feet. Okay, we're ready to go. So lyrics, we're gearing up with his boots. We got. This is how we're gonna get bait tonight. I haven't used these things. I haven't opened these cast nets in like 10 years. Like, honestly, I don't even know if they, I don't know. I guess they'll still work. We got two of them. Uh, right down here is the creek that I used to make, like my old throwback smallmouth videos when I used to ride my bike down the creek. And I don't know. I remember there used to be a lot of bait here. We're just going to go check it out. If not, I don't, we got to find bait at some point, but let's just pray that this will have, have bait in it and we can get that and head, head to the catfish. Oh. I'm gonna start out with the small one. All right, guys, I'll show you the spot real quick. <gasps> Don't go too close. Looks like this looks pretty good. It goes down, I don't know, about 50 yards or so. It looks like it's about two and a half to three feet deep. And my, my old time, we'll remember this spot. This is where it all began for those, those smallmouth videos, riding the bike down here. All right. Yeah. Well, do you want to practice before you actually throw it in the water? I got it. I remember. I don't see any fish, but we're just casting that fish. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, look at that spread. That was beautiful. And we have nothing. Well, the best thing we can do is walk the creek now. Oh, no, I did. I did this all. I got a bluegill. Yeah! All right, I got a blue. <laughs> I just want to tell you something. I haven't thrown a cast net in like I don't know. It had to be. It had to be like seven years. Beautiful spread. Like saltwater guides would have hired me to throw that spread for those greenbacks down in the canal. Hang on. We got some live ones. Oh, what do we have? Woohoo! Oh, we got a, is that smallmouth? Yes. <laughs> Here on Big Bass Master One, we don't use bass for bait. Woohoo! Now this, on the other hand. That was an A1 spread, boy. 
One bluegill. Okay, he's just gonna, oh, it's a warm mouth. I don't know if they're any better. Don't lose our bait. Right, so what you missed is basically us failing at our first spot. All we had was those bluegill. Then we went, we now have a shed on this rod. We changed spots to one of Lyric's old spots that we went to. Here it is right here. It looks really good. You got like the main current coming through there. Lyric's saying like this whole slack water is what's good, which makes sense. The captors like stay out of the current and wait for the bait to come, you know, and then eat them or whatever. So we got a shad going on this rod. We're going to use the other half of the shad, probably on another rod, and then maybe a bluegill. I'm going to go throw the casting around here. Shad are hard to come by right now, I guess. So that's what we're doing. Let's see if we can catch some fish. You're on. Is he there? All right, there he is. First fish of the day on right now. He's, it's a gar. You got a gar? I think. <laughs> I don't know how to reel this big old rod. Oh, it's a gar. You got a gar? Bro, it's a gar. That's a big gar too. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Watch my rod tip. Um. Oh jeez. Guys, when you're watch watch when you set the reel down. Yeah. I don't care if you, you can get sit it down, just sit it up that way. Yep. Sit that's, focus. That's crazy. Go ahead and talk. Today we're out here just catching river monsters. That's pretty gnarly. That that, that thing's has a thousand little needle teeth in it. That is crazy. Very, I don't know how I hooked him. Every time I've caught Garve, hooked him like on a I don't know on a crankbait or it's hard to catch these fish just because they have no mouth. But alrighty, but we're gonna get them unhooked and. Throw them back. All right, so we just caught the first fish of the day. Not really what we were going after, but it was a, a decent little gar, I guess. I mean, they're trash fish, let's be honest. But it, they're really cool every time. I, I haven't caught one in a while. They're just, they're kind of cool, you know? They kind of look prehistoric. I think they are kind of prehistoric fish, actually. So, cool fish to catch. We got probably like another 45 minutes before it gets dark, and then we're going to head out of here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hopefully we can get a catfish or so. And we've had two bites so far and landed the one, but I don't know if both of them were gar. But... Let's keep on fishing. Pat the one we caught the gar in was a shed. I know, and you oh. put him in the middle. Oh yeah, you are. So it's a spot. Can you put another rod over there? Can yeah. we put like one real close to the bank and just keep him real close? 